Hi, in this video of Inkpot, we shall study the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. This is a very well-known result which says that any linear operator satisfies its characteristic equation and uh, analogously we shall see a corollary for the matrices. So the theorem says that if t is a linear operator on a finite dimensional vector space V and ft is the characteristic polynomial of t then ft is equal to t naught. So here by f of t we mean that if fx is the polynomial let's say a naught plus a1x and so on plus a n x to power n then f of t is the operator a naught i where i is the identity operator on b plus a1 t plus a2 t squared where t squared is t composed with t and so on a n t to power n t to power n is t composed with itself n times so this is clearly the sum is well defined because the space of all uh, linear operators from b to v is a vector space so now let's do the proof so we shall show that f t of b is equal to 0. So here t naught is the 0 operator. That is t naught of b is equal to 0 for all b in the vector space b. So if we have to show that f of t is t naught, so it is sufficient to show that it, uh, the images under these operators f t and t naught are equal for any arbitrary element in the vector space v that is for any arbitrary element in v f uh, let's say small v we have f t is equal to uh, t naught of v and t naught of v is what this is equal to 0 so we have to show that f t of v is 0 so now if v is equal to 0 then Clearly, f t of v is 0 because uh, any operator acting on the 0 element is gives us 0 itself and f t would be a linear operator. So, f t of v is 0. So, we let v to be non-zero. Then, we let w be the T cyclic subspace of uh, V generated by small v. So you can see that these subspaces, T cyclic subspaces, are so important that they've been used in the proof of this theorem. So now W is the T cyclic subspace generated by small v. So, uh, we proved in the previous uh, video, which was on the invariant subspaces, that if dimension of W is K, then the set V T V del T K minus 1 V is a basis for W. So, if we adjoin any vector to this set, then that would be linearly dependent set. So, this implies the set V T V T K minus 1 V and T K V is linearly dependent. So, there exist scalars A0, A1 and so on a k minus 1 such that a naught v plus a 1 t v and so on plus a k minus 1 t k minus 1 v plus t k v 0. So why we have not uh, adjoined any coefficient with t k v because uh, you can divide all these terms with that coefficient. Uh, clearly that should this co the coefficient here should be non-zero and then you can divide it um, uh, every coefficient with that particular coefficient and you will get some other coefficients. 
so ultimately we can write that equation in this form so uh, i was saying that if you want to write a k t k v here the, so a k b should be non zero because otherwise every coefficient a not a1 a k minus 1 b would be zero so because a k v is uh, non zero so we can divide every coefficient term here with a k v with a k so we'll get another coefficients suppose b not b1 and so on so we can assume that we have uh that coefficient of tkv to be 1 so this is 0 uh so we have again by that theorem that gt is equal to minus 1 to the power k a not plus a1 t and so on plus a k minus 1 t k minus 1 plus t to the power k this is the characteristic polynomial of tw is characteristic polynomial of tw so we have these two equations uh, first of all a not b plus a1 of tv plus so on till ak minus 1 tk minus 1 of b plus tkv 0 and gt is the characteristic polynomial of tw the gt is given by Minus one to the power k into a naught plus a one t, and so on plus t to the power k. So uh, now, if we look at g of t, so this is equal to minus one to the power k a naught plus a one t plus so on plus a k minus one t k minus one plus t k. So apply this. Uh, operator to v so this implies gt of v this is equal to minus 1 to the power k a not your yeah, identity operator so a not into i plus a1 t and so on plus a k minus 1 t k minus 1 plus t k applied to v and uh, from first this is zero right because this is equal to minus 1 to the power k a not v plus a1 of tv plus a k minus 1 t k minus 1 of p plus t k of p and this is equal to zero from 1 now because ft is the characteristic polynomial of t so gt divides ft and this implies there exists a polynomial qt such that ft is equal to gt into qt by definition of uh, gt dividing ft okay so this implies f t of v this is equal to uh, qt uh, in qt gt of v which is equal to qt applied to gt of v and this is nothing but qt acting at 0 and this is 0 so for any element v we have ft of v is equal to 0 because v was arbitrary so f of t should be equal to t now and hence the theorem is proved let's see some example so in this example t is a linear operator on r2 and t of ab is the tuple a plus 2b comma minus 2a plus b beta consisting of e1 e2 is the standard ordered basis of r2 that is e1 is 1 0 and e2 is 0 1 so now we find out a which is the matrix of t with respect to beta so because t of 1 0 is equal to 1 comma minus 2 and t of 0 1 is equal to 2 comma 1 so we get a to be equal to 
the this as a column first column 1 minus 2 and this as the second column 2 1 now we find ft the characteristic polynomial of t so ft is equal to determinant of a minus ti this is equal to determinant of 1 minus t minus 2 2 and 1 minus t so this comes out to be t square minus 2t plus 5. This is the characteristic polynomial of uh, the operator t. So now let us see what is f of a. Okay. So f of a is equal to a square minus 2a plus 5, 5i where i is the identity matrix. So if we calculate a square it comes out to be minus 3, 4, minus 4 and minus 3 plus minus 2 times of a is minus 2 minus 4 4 and minus 2 and plus 5 times identity is 5 0 0 5 and if you add these three matrices you get 0 matrix of order 2. So we can uh, analogously see the uh, corollary for the matrices uh, that is the result Kelly Hamilton theorem for matrices. Let us see that theorem. So, the corollary says that if A is an n cross n matrix and Ft is the characteristic polynomial of A, then f of A is 0. So, the proof now uh, because the characteristic polynomial of A is same as that of the operator LA. So we have the characteristic polynomial of LA is FT and because now A is an operator so by Cayley Hamilton theorem we get f of la is 0 and this implies that f of a applied to the vector b is equal to f of la applied to the vector b which is 0 acting on b is nothing but 0. So we get that f of a is 0 so this implies f of a should be the 0 matrix and hence we are done.